exactly why right there. Because then you ended up you end up having to run over uh, flame and you get burned. That's what happens when you run over flame. You get burned, baby. So we're we're actually showing you a lot of a lot of cool things, a lot of good things in this, you know, NGT Rape Express strategy zombie strategy on Nocter Untoten. And I will say it again, I mean, this isn't my strategy. I mean, I didn't develop this strategy. This was developed by others. There are other strategies that I have done. Um, you know, are they the same as other people? Sure. Uh, did I actually see anybody doing it? No. This one, I did. I mean, this goes back a long way. I mean, you know, not even whoever it was that, that did the, the 150, ran 150 or whatever. He wasn't the first one, I don't think. I uh, definitely think there was there was somebody else that uh, that uh, actually did this first. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. I don't know who it was, and I you know I'm not gonna try and you know guess either. Cause that's it's very hard. I mean, it's very hard sometimes to give credit where it's due because I don't know. But uh, you know, whoever it was, good job, man. Good job. Because when I was first playing Zombies, you know, it was more, to me, at least on these uh, first few maps, it was more about, you know, taking a position and defending it, as opposed to, you know, just running around, running around the map, uh, doing circles and and shoving the flamethrower up the zombie's ass, just like we're doing here on the Rape Express. All right, so around around 30. Oh, look at that. We're over 100,000 points now. Yeah! I don't know how far I'm gonna go, man. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh my god. Sorry, I just uh, had a lot of emails. Please don't come up behind me. Please don't come up behind me. Please don't come up behind me. All right, all right. Gotta turn around. The zombie's not dead yet. All right, small circle here. Small circle to start off with. Another small circle. And then another small circle. We're getting, uh, that's a lot of zombies to be doing a small circle with right there. So we're gonna go, oh crap, we're gonna go down the end here. Alright, we got this dude, so we'll just avoid him. And uh, I think we're good. And I, I don't know how it's gonna be in the Black Ops uh, version of this map. I, you know, I, I said I'm, I think I said at the beginning that I might consider doing this on every single map, including the updated Black Ops versions of the uh, the original World at War maps. Um, I don't know how different it's going to be, because obviously, you know, once these guys spawn in, that's it. I mean, you only get a certain number of zombies up to a certain level, and that's all that spawn in. So, you know, the number of zombies doesn't continually increase. Like, I think it does. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty... No, it does. It definitely does on the Black Ops maps. Like, not... I, I, I can't say for certain on the Black Ops versions of these maps, because I haven't played them enough, but definitely, like, on Kino and Ascension uh, and those maps, uh, you know, every round, there's more zombies. Every single round, there's more zombies. And that's why it takes so long. Um, you know, these rounds are not going to last any longer than they are now. I mean, they might last a little bit longer, just because it takes a little bit longer for the zombies to die from the flamethrower. But we're not going to get any more zombies. This is the zombie count, and this is exactly how many zombies will spawn in from here on in every single round. So I don't know, because I haven't played the Black Ops versions of these maps enough. I mean, I played them a couple times, but that's about it. Um, I don't know if they've changed it on those versions of the maps so that zombies keep spawning in. So if it is, if they do, it's going to be a hell of a lot more difficult. More difficult, and it's going to take a hell of a lot longer to, you know, duplicate, you know, round 30, however long it took us to get up to round 30 here. It's going to take us a hell of a lot longer to get up to round 30 <laughs> playing the Black Ops versions. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, and I don't even know if on the Black Ops versions of these maps, if there is, even is a flamethrower. Because I know they updated the weapons, so... If there's no flamethrower, 
then yeah, it's going to be even worse. Because at least with a flamethrower, like I'm damaging multiple, multiple zombies at the same time. You know what I mean? Whereas if I'm just using the freaking Thompson, which is what I probably end up having to use, it's going to take forever. Forever. Yeah. Um, one other thing I'll talk about too, and uh, I mean it's cool now. Everything's cool now, but um, I was sort of getting down just about all the um, the trolling and shit like that, and and stuff that's been going on on uh, YouTube lately with respect to uh, gaming, gaming directors, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And um, it got me down for like a day, day or two. And, uh, you know, I was pissed off, and I couldn't do commentaries and stuff like that. It was just, you know, you just keep thinking about it. And uh, I think I've gotten beyond it. Um, one thing I will say, though, like, I'm going to be, you know, trying to react less to that kind of thing. Um, and try not to, to get involved with it. You know, like, just try and stay out of it. Not even, you know, not even trying to avoid comments even <laughs> you know I might read less comments le less video comments let's put it that way um, because of it it's just I don't know I, I want to have fun with this stuff you know what I mean like I want to have fun I want to create uh, good good videos you know good gameplay good commentary whatever I mean stuff that you guys are gonna want to watch and uh, be entertained and I really hate having this stuff get in the way of that you know I don't want to talk about it in the videos um, I don't want to discuss it I just want to you know talk about good stuff I want to talk about the gameplay I want to talk about what we're doing the strategies we're using and um, you know in a game like this maybe some other random stuff that, that I have been talking about you know um, just because this is very very repetitive and you know I'm not gonna explain <laughs> what I'm gonna do uh, every single round but yeah, it did, it did get to me for a bit, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm past it now, and I'm, I'm focusing on doing what I love to do, and, you know, I, I guess I guess the point is I'm going to try and do what I love to do, um, which may not be exactly what you guys want to see, but it's going to be a hell of a lot better because I'm having fun at it. Uh, to be honest. And, you know, I don't mind taking requests and doing stuff at, at, at the request of you guys. Uh, I don't mind doing that at all. But if I'm not having fun doing certain things, then it's not going to be enjoyable. I mean, it might be enjoyable to a few people that specifically requested it, but if I'm not having fun with it, then there really is no point. Um, so, you know, I'm just going to try and have fun with stuff. Um, I don't like, you know, I don't want to, I'm not going to bag on Try not to bag on anybody. Uh, even if I get bagged on, that's fine. Go nuts. It doesn't bother me anymore. Um, so yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Uh, another Forrest Gump reference. <laughs> yeah. Run, Forrest, run. Right. So is this fun for you guys? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This isn't really. I mean, this is okay. See, I mean, okay. When I when I say about having fun, there's a, there's a couple things, and you know, sometimes I don't have fun doing stuff, but but it's a challenge. You know what I mean? So I guess I look at it uh, from two res from two uh, you know from from two different standpoints. One is, oh, damn it. Sorry, I was. Uh, Trying to do commentary and do this at the same time, I kind of get hung up sometimes, and I forget to pull out the flamethrower and shoot the zombies. Um, so yeah, there's one. One is having fun doing what you're doing, and the other is uh, doing something that's challenging. Okay, I love challenges. I love doing something for a challenge. Um, you know, as long as it's fairly reasonable like this kind of thing this thing is a challenge right uh, again I don't know if I have the pa you know the patience to go to round 150 or whatever but it's still a challenge and I love doing that and that's what we do all the time you know we've done zombies based challenges 
like for a long, long time now. Hey guys, we now have our own website. Actually, we've always had our own website, but why not follow us on there? There you'll find all our videos conveniently sorted into playlists by game, as well as videos from many other directors that are part of our NGT network.